Go from amateur to pro light ball striking in just five minutes watching this video. And I know you will never ever go back. We're answering this question today from B-Side here on the channel, all about driver tempo. This is the glue that holds your swing together. So don't think this is a video where I don't need one, no two, one talks about it, three. no one works in it. And this is, as I just said, the glue that binds your swing together. Welcome to a brand new video. My name's Alex Elliott. I'm a PG Gold professional and top 50 world coach. My aim this summer is to help you play your best golf. So please do subscribe and turn the bell. And once you've done that, just get your tip requests down below in the comments. So I know this video will, in five minutes, take your face from like, oh my God, like golf's crap, I can't hit the ball, to that joy back on your face. So when you're working on your game, you've definitely never considered tempo. You've considered though, your grip, You've considered how you start the downswing, where your hips are, where your little finger is, where the club face is, all these other things, but tempo has never even crossed your mind. I can assure you right now, right? You make a mediocre swing with very good tempo, you're gonna still hit this golf ball great. You make a mediocre swing with bad tempo, you are gonna hit it all over the place. And I wanna tell you this story. This might sound like you, before we get into three ways to work on your tempo. So I taught Graham last night, right? Graham is a golfer that was off a six handicap. He is now creeping his way up to 10. You might be thinking, Alex, why am I telling you this story? Well, he's getting a little bit older. He's getting the, hitting the golf ball a little bit shorter. So he's trying to stand there and swing it so hard, trying to make up for all those lost yards. But he's not finding that middle. So he's swinging faster, but out of control, but it's got no tempo. I can assure you a tempo swing that you hit the middle goes way further. We're not about club head speed in this channel, we're about ball speed, making you more efficient. So let's get into number one. First on our list is Nick Faldo's tempo swing. Nick Faldo was a perfect tempo goal swing. Other ones that you think of this is Ernie Els, DJ Singh, Freddie Couples, just make it look like, boof, and they can hit it like that all day long. So this is very, very key. So watch me here. I want you to think of parts of the swing identify as numbers in your head. So number one is all the swing up to hip height. Okay, this point here. Number two is from hip height to the top of the backswing. And number three is the downswing. I can assure you, and like Graham's, whole swing is like one, two, gone. No good. And swinging it what feels slower doesn't mean you're gonna hit it shorter. No, 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 no. It's gonna make you find the middle and that's more ball speed. So number one, this is what I'm gonna do. I might even write it on my glove here. One, two, three, to remind me. So I'm gonna say this out loud. You just repeat it in your head. This is number one on our list. One, two, three. Look at that baby draw. That was ripped. Absolutely ripped. And you hear me, right? baby draw. How easy is that first one? You're not thinking about anything complex. Get away from that right now. I'm not saying that isn't important, but out on the golf course this time of year, just get your tempo right. Okay, so we've got two more. And remember, right, you want to try all three of these because you might just go, number one wasn't great, number two, yeah, it was okay, and number three, boom, that really, really works. So number two on our list, and again, we're going to go with Nick Faldo here. I just love his style of coaching. Old school is the new school, in my opinion. So have a think about this, right? If I asked you to hit a driver 130 yards, no matter like what age you are, you would probably count that as a short drive, wouldn't it? That would be one that you go, bloody hell, I don't want to hit it that far, do I? It's really short. Okay. But what would you do in your swing? You'd stand there and make probably a swing that looks a little bit like that. But I bet this right now, you go into every single drive, you're standing here going, I'm gonna smack this at 300 yards. So what do you do? You swing out your boots, you get unbalanced, and you get erratic face control. You hit it heel toe, heel toe, slice it and go everywhere. So I want you to think about the shot you're gonna hit. I want you to imagine every time you stand on this tee, I mean, this is the stroke index one, 13 here at Motcham Hall. So it's key that you stand here and you go, I'm only gonna hit this 130 to 140. It's gonna make me hit a slower, smoother swing. So here's number two on our list. 130 to 140 driver swings. I mean, just look at that. Last one on our list. And by the way, guys, this works with your irons and your driver, all of these. Make two swings, one as fast as you can. So 10 out of 10 speed. Make the second swing, one out of 10 speed. 
make them practice swings, walk into your shot, and then you can picture that feeling of the difference between them. So 10 out of 10, one out of 10, split the difference. You can throw a blanket over all three of those drives. Make some silky tempo. This is the most important video I know you'll watch this week. So please do subscribe to the channel and turn the bell to never miss a video that will actually help you improve your golf.